the millennium in one minute. Go. Leif the Viking goes sailing and hiking and finds a new world very much to his liking. Professional haters, known as the Crusaders, ruin a whole bunch of Hodges and Satyrs. Kings and castles, serfs and vassals get in lots of feudal hassles. Catholicism, major schism, still it sure beats atheism. Printing press, a big success. If you can't read, you couldn't care less. Joan of Arc has a certain spark, because she won't take back that God remark. Columbus sails and kind of fails, but not according to his portrayals. Luther's theses blast what he sees as a Catholic church that's full of feces. Da Vinci's styling is beguiling. Mona Lisa, how come you smile? Smiling. Copernicus creates a fuss, the center of the universe sure ain't us. Henry VIII wants another mate, can you say excommunicate? Bill Shakespeare produces Lear, his friends and countrymen lend him their ear. Descartes writes his, he says, gee whiz, I think, therefore he says he is. Highfalutin Isaac Newton sees an apple starts computing. There's fifing and drumming and patriots thumbing their noses and screaming the British are coming. On the 4th of July, we at last say goodbye to King George, who's a fat, crazy tea drinking guy. And the Russians start booting out czars after shooting and stabbing and burning and drowning and Rasputin and the atom bomb and the CD-ROM and finally blah 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 dot com and that's where we've come in this millennium we've done some smart things and some dumb let us hope dear sister or brother we humans last to toast another now as you can see what happened is your mastercard valve is cracked and ruptured your credit line so what we're going to do is we're going to go in and drain your savings account using what we call a collection agency. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. We got some month-old coffee in the waiting room. If you want to chain yourself to the wall and rot there, we'll get started whenever we feel like it. In 1095, Pope Urban launches the Crusades because some people just don't understand Christ's message of peace no matter how nicely you explain it to them. <laughs> Very important. Did she, did she spell it L-U-V, love, love ya, like in a school yearbook? Because that's not good. That is, that's crab with a K. That's cheese with a Z. That doesn't bode well. 1453 was a, a pivotal year because Constantinople fell to the invading forces of the Ottoman Empire. No one else would be defeated by an Ottoman until Dick Van Dyke in 1961. We have 30,000, which is barely more than a mouse. Did you hear that? It's, it's really, we're like, we're like just above yeast. We're like, I'm not kidding. We have like five times the number of genes that yeast does. And we're like just a cut above a roundworm. And it's like this big blow to our ego. It's, which is, it's not to me because like yeast and mice was the other one and worms are all going to outlive us. I mean, they are, they're superior to us. Like, right? Darwin-like? They're going to, they're, they're going to live. They should check how many genes like a dog has if we want to feel good about ourselves. I'm sure a dog has like four genes. <laughs> you know? Like the... Is there anything to eat gene and the pump something gene? It's like two genes. I believe, I have come to believe that Genghis Khan is perhaps the most misunderstood figure in our history. Because we, we make him out to be some sort of monster today, right? But if you, I researched this, if you look at what he actually said, Khan said, quote, the greatest joy is to conquer one's enemies to pursue them, to seize their property, to see their families in tears, to ride their horses, and to possess their daughters and wives. Okay, I suppose if you take that out of context. It sounds bad, I, I will admit. But I'm just saying you need to consider his entire life. For instance, in 1218, he entered Peking and he burned the city down and butchered its people and piled their skulls up like oranges. But my point is, my point is it's easy to criticize now to play Monday morning quarterback. Before you pass judgment on Genghis Khan, I suggest you look at his gravestone, which reads, quote, I'm just sorry I didn't get a chance to kill you, too. <laughs> which, again, can be taken so many ways.